The next stage in this chapter is for us to select what would be the best channel to communicate. Yeah. So how to pick the most effective communication channel at work. Now, uh, actually there are three main steps yeah? uh, in keeping our communication channel people-centered and the intention of that uh, communication, uh, of that message to be better understood. Step one is to consider the type of message that we are sending. Step two, reflect on our workplace values, how we do things, and around the message and what will be the delivery method that we will be choosing. Step three is for us to choose the best communication channel that will best reach our audience. Now, uh, in most circumstances, when we want to get our message across, either to many or to certain individual, yeah, figuring out which communication channel will work best once we actually understood what uh, what do we want to actually convey. Yeah. Should we email or should we WhatsApp our friend and get a, uh, for uh, get a quick answers? Do people talk on the phone nowadays? <laughs> so this this would be the, the 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 question that we need to understand. So how we deliver our message to our intended audience or receiver is essential. Yeah, for us, uh, it's essential. It's essential yeah, that uh, it be something that is effective. So it's it's about effective communication at the workplace. Uh, fortunately, yeah, uh, after we have figured out or we know what we need to say or what we need to tell in our messages, there would be steps that we can take to help us to decide how to send our message and what will be the most productive way. The first step, identify what kind of message that we are sending. Uh, we can start by asking ourselves a series of questions about the information that we need to convey. So we can actually target in on the appropriate communication channel we use. We need to ask ourselves, is the communication formal or informal? Does this information need to be reference, referenceable? Is this information urgent? Are we relaying confidential or sensitive information? Is this information generic or specific? Are we communicating with individual or are we communicating with groups? Do we deliver this message to a team or to the whole company? Is this going to be a one-way or two-way communication? So after we actually identify what are the messages that we are sending, the next one is for us to consider our culture around communication. Yeah. Uh, communication, uh, in a communication, we need to understand that there is what we call trust. What we trust between the both parties. Uh, and then how are we actually now engaging with our friends or our employees or our, maybe our teammates? Yeah. Now, a study has found that 80% of workers or team want to know more about how decisions are being made in the organization. So if our team is all about face-to-face -face communication, uh, Upholding that belief might mean uh, upholding that belief face-to-face uh, -face communication might mean that delivering bad news in person instead of sending out a personal email. Maybe by way of communicating verbally is better. Depending on what is the what is the culture of the organization. Then step three is to pick up a delivery method based on who is our target audience. Well, our organization likely has several communication channels for us to choose from. Maybe one-to-one -one meeting, you know, WhatsApp, kind of thing. Lah. So when we talk about in-person communication at work, it allows us to convey the broader speech of emotion, foster non-verbal communication. And this conversation occurs in real time, face-to-face. -face. And 
normally face to face communication allow us to have a two way communication or maybe uh, other communication means tools we can use is meeting whatsapp group yeah uh, what else um, team meetings and whatnot so there are many ways of actually uh, putting in our communication it can be uh, voice video it can be writing yeah uh, because writing communication actually dominates the workplace yeah it, it workplace it is fast easy it can be formal informal and it can actually double up as documentation yeah uh, dashing out a question by email or sending out an email blast for important information that everybody needs to know might be the norm at many companies nowadays nowadays yeah uh, maybe WhatsApp might be uh, controversial in some businesses, some businesses dealing with kan? while others have fully embraced it in, in general, but still there are people who are not comfortable using WhatsApp in communication. In general, uh, texting uh, to message is best used to connect quickly with someone and tend to be more informal. Eh? Somebody uh, or a client might message a contractor to see whether they are available uh, for a call. In an hour, just to make sure that uh, you have that place, yeah. Um, and then these instant messages or message, uh, the delivery method allow you to get your question answered fast and in real time, and save you of having to walk over to your colleagues. So this I would be, uh, I would say, a new way of communicating, and it will help us uh, to understand. Uh, how do we choose the best channel by understanding who is our audience, by understanding what is the culture of our organization, and understanding the understanding that actually what would be the best way eh, to communicate? Uh, what would be the best way to communicate in with our team? Yeah, with our, our team members.